All right, I tried this once, starting off with my view, and uh, it's not gonna work. So, I saw some reviews on this hotel, and this is my review. So, you can decide whether you like it or not. Let's go. So, when you get here, bus will drop you off. Someone will offer you a punch, and you will take your steps over to the front desk where Everything's already pretty much taken care of. You just find out where your room is. You'll find out how to take care of your safe and, and everything will be wonderful. You drop your stuff off here, don't worry. They're taking care of you. They put these lovely stickers on your thing and someone will take you to your room. If you wanna go anywhere in Negril, then you need to come over to the taxi desk because these guys will take care of you. These are the prices and any place you go here is wonderful. So, no apprehension, just enjoy. The local boys will take care of you, I promise. This place is awesome. Don't worry about what you hear on the news. It's there, but it's not even anywhere near here. So, Negril is completely safe. Enjoy. Okay, when you come, you're going to find there are three boutiques here. There is this very high class boutique at the very front. And the ladies in here are lovely and they have beautiful Pandora. And beautiful things, beautiful things. This is the high end gift shop here in Negril at the Ryu. Every few days, there's a lady that comes in and does the florals. And uh, I swear, this place is beautiful. There's, there's a bar in the lobby and anything you can ask for. They have a special of the day. They'll make any kind of specialty coffee that you want, anything, really. You have to come here and try. And, and then you have a beautiful view of, oh my God, the ocean is like so close. So you have to come. If you come here and you like shows, the shows are here every night. There's so much effort put into them. The entertainment system here is so beautiful. If you do not like loud, do not sit near the front. You could almost get away with sitting up in the balcony, but they're fantastic and I highly recommend that you come and you see the entertainment every night. There is something. And right from the front doors to the beach, it is so close and it is worth it. The Ryu is fantastic, and I highly recommend it. There are only two things that I don't like here. The beds are way too hard, and really the second thing is, not, is almost not worth mentioning, but by the time I finish, I might remember what it is. The pools are small. The bartenders at the pools are fantastic. And, and honestly, there's always something to do and they're always full. So you'll enjoy it. And so the Ryu Fun, Ryu Fun ladies and gentlemen that are here are fantastic. Do a little wave. I'm doing a review on, it'll be on, it'll be on. YouTube? Yep. All right, we're gonna be on YouTube. I can't be on YouTube, I'm a shy person. But you're beautiful. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh my god, you're beautiful. Um, anywhere you are in the world, you need to come to the Rio Palace. You have to come Bay to the Rio Palace. In the grill. All right? Palace, so get here, get here, get here. We're having crazy fun. No, We're about to start. Yeah. Come on. What, what are you doing? The club band. Oh, well, I'll stand over here and I'll watch. All right. I'm doing my review. Okay.
You have to come and see this. And when you come here, these ladies are the ones that you want to come and see to do any tours or any events. What, what do you girls have? Catamaran. Catamaran. What are all the different tours that you have? Okay, so we have the cruises and we have Ricky's <laughs> buffet. Ricky's buffet. Yeah. And, but, but see this? You have to come here to the Rio tro Tropical Bay Paradise, uh, Palace. And you have to come and see these ladies. Shell's not here today, but you guys are all awesome. And book with them because you will have an awesome adventure. Yes. All right. And as you can see, the beach is like so close. And it's a little cloudy today. We had some rain, but you know what? I think we've had maybe an hour rain. I think the worst day was three hours rain. They wash your feet. There is always lots of lounges. I don't care what anybody says. There's always lots of lounges. But really, you come out here and look at this view. I know the clouds kind of ruin it for you. It's my last day. I'm sorry I didn't take better. Um, but you can walk the beach. You can see stingrays right from the shore. The guy comes right down and serves you your alcohol. There's a market. I don't know if you see it farther in, in the distance. There's a market that you can go to or not. And don't worry because I'll come to you. But a no thank you works really well. This is Bloody Bay. We went paddle boarding from the Ryu. We went um, paddle boating from the Ryu and we went kayaking from the Ryu. And there are, if it's a clear day, you can see so many beautiful things. Now this guy here is one of the locals and he will come around and he will offer you whatever you want. He will offer you parasailing and all kinds of wonderful things and it's all good they take care of you everybody's happy everybody's got a good attitude this is jamaica enjoy so okay so don't litter your beach there is a place to leave your drink cups the hotel is beautiful it is getting ready to renovate in august It'll close down for three months. When it reopens, I have been led to believe that it will be adult only. This is the upgrade from the Ryu that's down the beach. And it is beautiful. It, I mean, yep. if you can't see what, how beautiful it is from what I've shown you, then you don't need to come here. <laughs> so around lunchtime, usually during the lunch, there is a jerk shack that's on the beach there is ping pong on the beach they've always got events there are different a la cartes at night which do not require reservations the steakhouse is right on the beach which is awesome you line up at 6 30 at all of them and I've been to the steakhouse and the steakhouse was awesome. The salmon was awesome. This is the jerk house, the jerk hut. And there are no jerks in here, but the chicken is fan freaking tastic. I'm a little late for lunch, but it's still steaming from lunch. <laughs> There's a lot of glass bottom boats. Honestly, I don't think any room in this place is awful. These are the ocean views, and yes, they're straight on ocean views. But for the most part, during the day, you're on the beach. You're walking around. We took the garden view. We can see the ocean from our room. The lifeguards are awesome. We were here, the first day we were here, there was a gentleman with uh, dehydration. You know, you, you don't notice them until they're needed. There was another lady that was having trouble standing. And as, as soon as it was realized, they took care of her. So this is, they take care of you here. There are so many things to do here. The place is beautiful. 
they're, they cut the grass like every three or four days. The landscaping is awesome. The trees are beautiful. If you go in, like I said, you can see stingrays, you can see starfish. But if you don't just stay in the hotel and don't just do what is offered at the hotel, which we did everything that was offered at the hotel. We didn't go any extra trips and we were okay, but there were a lot of really good trips that we heard about. And the hotel, your representative will, um, will tell you all the great things to do around here and you gotta trust them and they're great. There's all kinds of places you can go. There's, you can even go into Negril and check out the markets there. This is the garden view. So these are the rooms that are not considered ocean view, but, and, and then my room is right there in that view right there. And if I turn around, there's the ocean. So it might not be dead on ocean view, but it's still a beautiful view with a beautiful gazebo, lovely paths to all of the amenities, beautiful landscaping. Now in August, they're closing down for three months and they're going to add some buildings and refurbish their bars. And from what I understand, don't quote me, I have been told that these is going to be an adult only um, facility and it's still fine. Honestly, we've been here a week and I think a bus full of kids came yesterday and they're really little and they're not even annoying. So it's awesome. But so here is uh, Scuba Carib. These are the girls I just mentioned. If you need an activity, go with your travel agent. They have their own, but the hotel promotes this carob. The ladies are working on commission. The boys down at the water that like a little appreciation. Uh, who doesn't like a little appreciation? And everything is awesome. These are the little, these are sailboats. They'd prefer you have some sailing knowledge before they let you take it. I'm not the greatest swimmer, so I did go kayaking with my husband and I did go paddle boarding, but I didn't stand up. So there you go. Scuba Carib, www.scubacarib.com. Check out what they can do. The bay is awesome. It seems a little rough right now. And there are other options. There's parasailing. There's this great big marble. This guy will take you around the bay. And I haven't seen it flip over once, so it's gotta be somewhat safe. And like I say, walk the beach. I will say walk that beach with caution because you will be called princess and you will be called general and you will be asked to come and look at my my home and and then there is the Ryu sister hotel which is also fantastic and very family friendly um you can get a glass bottom boat that will take you scuba driving around the end there are a lot of different trips that will take you to ricky's um party place and they dive there and the food is awesome and I don't know what else to say. Uh, I, I just gotta say that my experience here at the Ryu, the only thing I really didn't like was the beds. They're very hard. So if that's a, a no deal for you, then don't stay here. But everything else was so awesome. You know, they're, they're, you don't have to tip if you don't want to tip. But, you know, obviously they like it when you tip. And uh, I don't know what this guy's bringing, but you can buy anything on the beach. You can buy cigars on the beach. You can buy CDs on the beach. You can buy flags on the beach. 
bracelets. They will try and get you to come down and buy weed or mushrooms or whatever it is that they call whatever it is that they have to sell. That is your choice. I don't encourage uh, any of that, but your, your choice. There's cigars. They seem to be on the up and up. So, uh, like I said, they, you can wash your feet when you come off the beach. The place is fantastic. I have really very little to say. There was another thing, and I can't remember at this time. I'll put it in the comments if I ever come up to it, because this place is beautiful. You know, like, why wouldn't you want to stay here? It's had a paint over. It was pink from what I understand. And there is a gentleman going around painting the main part. So it'll be interesting to see what they do as the final um, refurbish. But uh, there's a photographer here and he's not pushy. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions that I haven't answered, I will try to get back to you when I see them. And uh, come to Jamaica, come to the Rio in the Grill Palace, Tropical Bay. I highly recommend it.